Hey everyone, welcome back to Yusof Reacts. Today we're diving into the world of aliens, high-tech gadgets, and secret agents. With the 2019 sci-fi action film Men in Black, International. If you loved the original MIB movies or you're just curious about how this installment holds up, stick around. Let's get into it. Men in Black, International takes us back to the secretive, alien-protecting Men in Black organization, but this time, there's a twist. Instead of the classic duo of agents J and K, played by Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, we get a fresh new team, Agents H, played by Chris Hemsworth, and M, played by Tessa Thompson. The chemistry between Hemsworth and Thompson, which we saw in Thor, Ragnarok, is one of the highlights of the movie. But let's talk about the story. Men in Black, International follows Agent M, Akamali, who spent years trying to uncover the truth about aliens after a childhood encounter with them. When she finally tracks down the MIB and proves herself, she's teamed up with the charming but reckless Agent H to investigate a mysterious alien threat. The action takes us across the globe, from the streets of New York to the deserts of Marrakesh and even to London. It's got the flashy set pieces and alien technology we expect from an MIB movie. Like the iconic Neuralizer, which wipes memories, and some cool new alien creatures. Pawnee, the tiny alien voiced by Kumail Nanjiani, is hilarious and steals a lot of scenes. Now, Men in Black, International definitely has that fun, quirky tone that fans of the series will recognize, but the film does struggle with a few things. The plot can feel a little generic, with the whole hidden mole in the organization storyline not feeling very fresh. There are also a lot of great ideas that never quite come together. For example, the international setting opens up a ton of possibilities, but some of the locations and characters don't get enough depth. And speaking of characters, while Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson are fun to watch, the script doesn't give them as much to work with as it could have. Hemsworth's Agent H is a little too one-note as the cocky hero, and Thompson's Agent M is smart and capable, but her character arc feels underdeveloped. So, should you watch it? Well, if you're a fan of the MIB franchise, there's some fun to be had here. The humor, the cool gadgets, and the aliens will definitely give you some nostalgic vibes. But if you're looking for something groundbreaking or on par with the original, this one might fall a bit short. It's an enjoyable popcorn flick, but it doesn't quite capture the magic of the first Men in Black movies. In terms of visuals though, the movie shines. The special effects, from alien designs to the futuristic tech, are top-notch. And the globe-trotting locations give the film a fresh look compared to the earlier movies, which were mostly New York-based. The MIB tackle a mole in their organization. After an eye-opening encounter of the third kind, the secret MIB organization's newest recruit, Agent N, finds herself under the wing of the heroic Agent H in cosmopolitan London, when a shape, shifting duo of intergalactic assassins executes an alien aristocrat. Now, with a devastating super weapon of mass destruction hidden somewhere on Earth, the men in black will leave no stone in turn to retrieve it. However, heavy clouds of mistrust and a scent of betrayal envelop the once incorruptible agency. Is there a well-placed mole in their midst? In Brooklyn in 1996, Molly Wright Tessa Thompson witnesses her parents being neuralized by agents of Men in Black, while she helps an alien escape, avoiding neuralization herself as her parents assumed that she was asleep. 23 years later, having been rejected in applications to government agencies, on the grounds of her delusions regarding the evidence of alien life, she manages to track down an alien landing and track the MIB agents back to MIB headquarters in New York. Although she is caught upon entering the agency, Molly makes an impression on Agent O. Emma Thompson, arguing that she has proven her skills in finding out about the organization's existence and has no life outside of her search for the agency. Convinced, she is awarded probationary agent status as Agent M and assigned to the London branch of the organization. 
Once in London, M meets Hai T. Liam Neeson, the head of the London branch, and manages to arrange for herself to be assigned to assist Henryagent H. Chris Hemsworth. In his meeting with Vungus the ugly Caven Novak, a member of an alien royal family who is a close friend of H. During their night out with Vungus, they are accosted by mysterious alien twins, who can manifest as pure energy, who fatally injure Vungus. Vungus passes a strange crystal on to M before he dies, claiming that he cannot trust H with it as H has changed since they last met. Although Agent C. Rave Spall expresses disappointment for H's dealing with the situation, M points out that few people knew Bungus' location when he was attacked, which leads to the conclusion that Bungus' location was betrayed by one of the MIB agents present when High T assigned H to guard him. Nervous over the possibilities of a traitor in MIB itself, High T assigns C and M to conduct an investigation while H is demoted to desk duty. With the investigation suggesting that the twins had DNA traces of the Hive, a parasitic race who invade other planets by merging with the DNA of the conquered species. M learns that H and High T were responsible for fighting off a Hive invasion at the Eiffel Tower in 2016, using a wormhole included in the original migration to Earth. But since that time H has developed a god complex demonstrating an uncaring attitude towards his duties and apparently only keeping his job due to Heidi covering for him due to the soft spot they have for each other. H convinces M to join him in following up a lead in Marrakesh, where they recover Pawnee Kumail Nanjiani, the last survivor of a small group of aliens who were attacked by the twins. Pawnee pledges new loyalty to M, but they are subsequently trapped by MIB agents coordinated by C who has recovered video footage of Vungus passing the crystal on to M and believes that she is the traitor. With the aid of one of his alien contacts, H is able to acquire a rocket-powered bike and escape with M and Pawnee, where they learn that the crystal Vungus gave M is actually a weapon powered by a compressed blue giant. As they repair the damaged bike, H's alien contact manages to steal the weapon and take it to Reza Stavros Rebecca Ferguson, an alien arms dealer and H's ex-girlfriend. Traveling to Reza's island fortress, the trio attempts to infiltrate the base and recover the weapon, but are caught by Reza and her bodyguard. However, the bodyguard turns out to be the alien that M rescued as a child and he returns the favor by allowing them to leave with the weapon while he keeps Reza contained. The three are cornered by the twins once again, but the twins are killed by High T and a group of agents. Although the case appears to be concluded, H and M review the evidence and realize that the twins' phrases could suggest that they required the weapon to use against the Hive rather than to use it. For the Hive, especially when the only evidence of Hive DNA was provided by High T. As Agent C concedes that the evidence favors the idea of High T's deception, he allows H and M to follow High T to the Eiffel Tower. As they travel to the wormhole, M's questioning of H's memory of his defeat of the Hive reveals that he was neuralized, which is confirmed when they confront High T. The Hive converted High T into one of them and neuralized H so that he could act as the hero and conceal their true activities. The High T or Hive hybrid is able to activate a wormhole that will draw the Hive to Earth. But H is able to draw out High T's true personality long enough for M to use the weapon to destroy High T and the Hive infestation trying to reach Earth through the wormhole. With the truth of High T's conversion exposed, Agent O joins H and M in Paris, where she grants M full agent status and appoints H probationary head of MIB's London branch. To sum it up, Men in Black International is an entertaining, albeit flawed, entry in the franchise. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, but it has enough laughs, action, and sci-fi fun to make it worth watching on a rainy afternoon. Thanks for watching everyone! If you liked this review, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more movie breakdowns and reviews. What did you think of Men in Black International? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.